what up what up windbush here and today i'm going to show you how to do puzzle mats now what puzzle mats are they're basically object buffers that you render out um if you're not familiar with cinema 4d then they're mask and so whenever you're compositing in nuke or after effects you want to sometimes separate your scene out with mask so that you can bring stuff into the foreground the background you know whatever you want to do with that and so I'm going to do this in two parts. The first part, I'm going to show you here Cinema 4D and Redshift. And then in the second part, I'm going to show you how to composite everything together in After Effects. And so to get started, I have this scene already pre-built. You can check the um, making of on my YouTube videos. And all the assets here, I use Megascans. I use them a lot for photo real stuff. And so I definitely suggest go checking those guys out. And this is what it looks like. All rendered out right here not composited or anything and so let's get started now over here on my right hand side you can see all my objects and I already have race shift tags on my objects that I want to have mask for and if you don't know what race shift tags are you go to tags and then over to redshift tags and then redshift object and that will give you your redshift tags here and when you click on it, you see all these different tabs come up down here, like your, your basic visibility, geometry, which I can show you how to use in another tutorial. You have matte settings. And then what we want is the object ID. Now, when you um, first put on the object tag, the object ID is not gonna have a check mark. So you wanna activate that by clicking on it. And it's gonna have an object ID of zero. Now, you can have infinite amount of object IDs. I know I see a lot of people online thinking that you can only have three, but there's a trick to that. So what we wanna do is come up to our redshift tag and then come down to redshift AOV manager. Click on that. And over on our left-hand side, we wanna look for puzzle mat. We drag that over, click on it, and over here on the right hand side, you'll see it says mode material ID. Now you can make puzzle mats for material IDs or object IDs. I like using object IDs because I wanna see what object I wanna make a mask for. So I'll switch this mode over to object ID. And right below that, you'll see it says red ID, green ID, blue ID. And this is where we're gonna put our numbers in. So as you saw right here for my object name, landscape and landscape one, I have object IDs of one. So for my red ID, I'm gonna make that one. And then if I come up in here and some of my nulls, you see I already have my redshift tags on there as well. And so on this item here, which you can see, which will be this geometry right here, I'm gonna make a object ID of two. So I already have two there. So I'm gonna bring up my manager window again, and I'm gonna make two green and then so on and so forth and so for this one am i seeing that's this geometry back here i'm gonna have an object id of three so i'll make the three blue and then i want to come up to my my render view so i could come up to redshift come down to redshift render view and oh i already have it open so I want to hit render here, the play button. Now I'll use buckets and I'll let this render through again. And you'll notice over here where it says beauty, underneath it will say puzzle mats now. So I'll click on that and we can start to see our puzzle mats, AKA our mask starting to render through. And so as we saw before, we said green was number two, blue was three, red is one. And that's what's shown here when we, um, that's being that's what's being represented here in this render viewport now some people are asking well if i have more than three objects i want mats for how do i get mats for those and so what you'll do is you'll come back down to puzzle mats you'll drag it over again and now you can make object ids for three more so we'll do red id for four green id for five blue id for six and then I'll come over here into my scene. I have a red shift tagged here. I'll make this one um, four. 
and then I'll come over to this object, which is this right here. And I'll make this one, well, it already looks like it's six, so that will be blue. And then my pillars will be five, which my pillars are this right here. And now if I go back to my, my render view, oops, not that one. I want to click play again. And then on my menu here, you'll see it comes up as puzzle mat one. Now, when I click on that, now it's going to show three more puzzle mats. Now I know it's confusing because it's only RGB, but whenever you bring this in the after effects or nuke or whatever, when you render it out or actually render it out with the puzzle mat and then puzzle mat one, and, um, you'll be able to identify it from there. So if I click back here on puzzle map, these are my original three and these are three more. And so basically that's how you get puzzle mats out of Redshift. And then you'll want to come over to here to your, um, edit render settings and then make sure that you have multi-pass images and make sure you have a folder set up for that, the export out. I like using open XRE, but some people like using PNGs. Um, whatever your preference is and then down here below composite project file I'm targeting after effects. So I make sure after effects is clicked on and then I'll have all everything here check marked out And so in the next video, I'll show you how to bring the puzzle mats into after effects and continue um, compositing and um, If you're using something else, I don't know <laughs> how to tell you how to use that because I don't use nuke or anything but um yeah, make sure you guys tune in for my next video. If you like this one, please subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment if you're not understanding something here and I'll definitely get back to you. And also add a like to that and stay tuned for the next video. Take care.